Today's video, I'm gonna take this beat up exterior walnut table and give it a whole new life. We're gonna refinish it and replate the base. It's gonna look great. But first, I gotta get it in the truck. And at 250 pounds, that was tough. Here's the table safely at my shop. And man, you can't even tell that this is walnut. That doesn't even look right. I gotta say, these legs are in rough shape. There's no shine left on the chrome. There's rust coming through. They're about to get a much needed makeover. Let's start by taking the legs to the plater. Now I know why the table was so heavy. These are about 60 pounds each. I had to do them one at a time. Once I got the table to my shop, I realized how cupped and twisted it really was. So I called my buddy who has a CNC machine and I brought it right over. The first step is to ensure that you get the slab flat on the table. So we remove the least amount of materials. We use shims and hot glue here. Next step was to put in the big daddy bit. We started with the back of the slab and you can see where the high spot is. That's where the material has already been removed. You can see on the sides, it's barely removing anything. This slab was really cut. And this is what happens when the dust shroud isn't all the way down. They had actually moved it up for a special project, so we had to unbolt it to move it back down again. But it's messy without it. Here's a look at the front of the slab, which nobody believed me when I said it was walnut, because man, it doesn't look like it. But wait till you see the first pass. Ah, there it is. That's walnut. And the machine is back at it again. You can see how much less dust is coming out now that we move the shroud down. It makes a big difference. And here it is, all flat and ready for finish. What a difference. Time to remove the finish off the edges in this three inch direct drive sander. Man, it kicked butt. It really did an excellent job, has a lot of power, and removed that film finish really quickly. Now that the finish is removed, it's time to bring back a little texture with this wire brush. Now on to epoxy. Filling in all the little holes is really important to keep the moisture out. Since this slab is gonna be a table outside, I need to keep all moisture out of the slab so it doesn't warp and twist as much. Before the first and flattening pass with the sander, I like to mark the slab up so I can keep it as flat as possible. Getting a perfect sanding finish is all about balance, using the proper pressure and stroke along the whole piece. Time to apply the test samples for the client.
Okay, client chose the middle sample, but I just found out the table bases are done, so let's go check it out. Table legs are done getting plated, but let's take a quick look at the process. Starts here in these cleaning baths to remove any of the grime and the old chrome. Then it sits in this fresh water tank before it moves off to the first copper tank. This sits for 40 minutes. Next is the first nickel bath. After this, you have to take it to the polisher and polish the metal, otherwise it won't be shiny when you're finished. After that, we move to the second nickel solution bath. Next, it goes into an acid bath for cleaning before it goes into the bright nickel bath. Here we are at the bright nickel bath. After this, it goes into the activator for five minutes. Then we move on to the chrome bath where all the magic happens. This is where all the pieces get their chrome applied. Now it's time to see how they did. Oh man, that's looking sweet. Nice and shiny and polished, just like you want. Now it's time to apply the exterior decking oil from Osmo. Using a synthetic brush, work the oil into the surface. This is really important to ensure that you really work the oil down into the wood and then wipe it off when you're finished. First coat on the bottom and looking good. I don't know how many times I've had to flip this table over, but it sure seems to get heavier every time I do it. Time to assemble the legs. This is the mounting plate to attach it to the table. All of these screws have to go back in the exact same hole they came out because they're ground down to fit in perfectly. This was probably a good time to remember that you should mark it before you take it apart. Had to move these around like a little chess game. Time to reinstall the legs. Because there's already pre-drilled holes, it was really simple. I just screwed the screws back into the slab and everything was good. Legs installed and the chrome wiped off. Man, she's looking good. Time to deliver it to the client. Here she is back home. Man, what a difference. Thanks for watching, guys. If you liked it, hit that like button. Please hit that subscribe button. And here's a before and after shot. Man, what a difference.